found Scald. Woo, everybody. It's so hot. So hot right now. That's actually great because that's a water move, but it can burn. Yeah, it's a really nice. I'm always a fan of this. It's not great against fire Pokemon, but it's fun for uh, basically anybody else. Oh, yeah. Uh, skull. Oh, yeah. and you gotta love it when when you're when you're in the type advantage situation, and it's someone's coming at you with grass. Oh yeah. And you get your water type out, and you're just like, oh, and on top of that, I'm gonna scald you. Yeah, burn you, knock down your physical attack. My special attack is much better than my than my physical. Uh, physical. Surf is ninety. Scald is eighty. I don't know that that's a big enough difference to warrant the drop in quality for a maybe burn. Uh, yeah, I guess so. And surf in um, field battles is multi-hit. Yes. Whereas yeah. Scald is single target. Yeah. Uh, surf Surf hits everybody else in the battlefield, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, insert Edgar clip here. Yep. Can it still fucking paralyze him if... No. It can't... It will not be able to hit him at all. Uh, that's not going to hit Edgar too, is it? It is. No! Was that no? That was earthquake. That wasn't. That wasn't. Surf. Was it er earthquake? Yeah. Oh. Because he's weak to ground. That oh was the yeah, whole that's thing. right. Uh, but it looks the same. It looks just like that. Uh, <laughs> we got every. There's got. There's always a reason that we got to bring that clip back. Uh, I mean, what's the point of having it in a hot folder if you can't cut it know. into a ton of episodes? Exactly. I'm just inventing lore now. Don't mind me. Okay, so this is not the final door. I was like, there were two of these doors. I hope I'm not picking the actual... Oh, hilarious. Dazzling Gleam. Uh, this will probably be good, because that's good against Fighting in Dark. Dazzling Gleam is a lovely move. I like it. Oh, I it. already have copies of it. You do. You already have it on a Pokemon, don't you? I did, but I was wondering if uh, if Pete Rose just got that naturally. Quite there possibly. It is. There we go. I was like, Delmar's got to be able to learn this, but also he's already good against Fighting. Yeah, Dark would not be the worst to have stuff for, but also we, you know, I think Delmar's probably fine with this. Actually, what does Delmar have right now? It, I mean, it's definitely dangerous to have Delmar out in a situation. He's a little glass cannony, right? A little glass cannony. You, you don't want but him like, to be out there where he's weak. You're, you're iffy about him being out there when it's neutral, even. That's the thing. It's like, like, if I can get Nasty Plot on, and then only he just becomes unstoppable. Only because you're nuzlocking. Like, yeah. Oh yeah, if, if I you care about him locking. fainting, there's a lot of better, there's a lot of different strategies that you can work with with Alakazam, right? Yes, yeah. Delmar, be, in many ways, Delmar becomes even more tenable in a non nuzlocke situation because you don't have to worry about the the gra uh, the glass cannon situation. There. Yeah, there's some Pokemon where they're, e they're weak, you know, easy, easily fainting, and you and you put on like revenge or yeah. uh, I don't uh, know, payback moves. Did I miss the other? Oh, was no, I'm stupid. Is there a separate loop that we didn't touch? Uh, in a sense, yes. Oh, you have the key now. I have the key now. You just go up to the building exactly. for the top half of things. Yeah. I was kind of like, yeah, it's kind of a separate loop in the sense that it's mostly a separate building, but well, I or it's mean, probably the same building. You but were down in the, in the underground of the city, which happens to connect across the city. Oh, actually, you know what? We didn't get a bed, so let's... Or we haven't had a bed yet, so let's just go ahead and do this and save ourselves the trouble. Yeah. It's funny. In my head, I'm like, yeah, and then we, we fight Cyrus, and then it's John's turn. And I was like, no, there's more than that. Probably not much more. I think the path to the eighth gym is pretty short by virtue of uh, you're doing this as your, as your in-between stuff. Yeah, probably. Basically, just you finally gain access to that city. Exactly. Because the power company, also known as Team Galactic... Yeah, blacked out Sunny Shore. Or isn't doing much about it, I guess. Just funny, if they're going to be... If, they're, if their whole front... If, if their whole operation relies on them being everyone's favorite energy company, then you want that shit to be on lock. You'd the best way to, be a, to, to have a front of, as a good energy company is to just be a good energy company. Yeah. I feel like I've seen some media where that is legitimately... Like, I think um, in Mega Man Star Force 3, literally, they have the King Foundation, who does literally do charity work and stuff for the sake of keeping the front of their organization being a good org, like... Look, a, an avoidable double battle. Yep, they're even turning away to, to make it even easier. You trailblaze, your trailblazing will go into a blaze of glory right now, of glory trailing. You going right glory down the trailer. glory trail. <laughs> oh, no. 
gonna pass right. We just installed a glory trail in our bathroom. Right on through that glory trail. HR just uh, HR a, just shows up. It's like found a, a happy hole at the glory <laughs> trail. Oh. HR person shows up and they're like, "This that you you just got to call it a hallway. It's a hallway. There's nothing weird about it. You can't call it a glory trail anymore. We're getting sued every time you say it." But but I'm just trying to put a positive spin on things. God, I always look, we have down my great we ideas. We have burrito Thursdays, and then I blaze a trail to the to the glory trail, so that I can so that I can blaze you know everything else. Like you gotta you gotta shut the fuck up. You gotta stop saying that. Oh. Team Galactic, more than most teams, feels like it's full of idiots. Yeah. Like, the there's a lot of dummies in this fucking organization. They they definitely use a lot of dumb fists. Yeah. Just like the zealots. way that they talk. Like, Team Rocket felt pretty threatening most of the time. Yeah. Not always, but Team most Galactic of the time. Team Galactic is indoctrinated. They're all, like, they drank the Kool-Aid. Yeah. They have their catchphrases, and they're like, Yeah, I believe in Team Galactic, and my job is to block the way to this lake. The experiment's done. Uh-oh. That's I not a good sign. Finished the experiment. You should be tired out by now. It's I just went to the hospital and fucking gave morphine and saline to all my dudes. They're yeah. ready to rock. They are flying high right now. So is this gold bat, temporarily. Woo! Temporarily. You're going to ground it? Just shock it No, I'm going to electrocute it. Hey, Tonka, why do you never do that into a microphone? Her little... little she, bubble. She was just... Oh. Just an announcement. Yeah, we're about half an hour till food time, so she's like, hey, everybody. It's chunk o'clock. It is time to get chunky. Oh, it's Silcoon. Hi. There we go. I heard her that time. We're gonna have to have like a room mic set up at the new at the hi at the new studio just to capture meowing moments. You, you should you should just get a small diaphragm condenser and a parabolic reflector for it so oh, that you yeah. can just like point it and she'll just, it will just capture crystal clear audio. Yeah. Just, just to have it at hit, like nearby to somebody, so they can be like, "Get the cat mic, <laughs> get the cat mic gun." Just, just aim it at the cat. Shoot, shoot the cat with the ray beam of picking up sound. You've heard of a shotgun? Wait, what? Follow unidentified subs. Wait, what the hell? There, there is a notice tacked to the kitchen sink. I misread that at first as this is not attached to the kitchen sink, and I was like, <laughs> "Wait a minute! Wait a minute!" <laughs> Health and prosperity through the partaking of favorite foods. Oh, God. Nobody's cleaning. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Nose taped on. Drink all you wish and gain the energy to move us forward. Yeah, very culty. Murky, behavior. sinister drinks and nothing else. Jesus. these Literally people, drink the Kool-Aid. I was going to say, these people do not take care of themselves one bit. So, uh... What's on TV? It's cold. Snow is falling here in Snow Point City. I wish I could say my inner child is excited to run around and enjoy the snow, but if it's too cold for me to be frolicking, I'm heading home right after this to curl up with my Clefairy. That's all for the weather brought to you by Helena. Ooh, Ultra Ball. Ultra. Well, there's our there's our beds. Very yep. close by. I want to let you disrupt our research. This is for Team Galactic. Me. Just changes the channel. And you're like, oh, that was it? Yes. Oh. Uh, it's very important that we stay tuned to that channel. Yeah. Uh, all right, Darius. Darius. All of the, this this scientist model looks like malnourished. A looks like what? A white. Yeah. Okay. Malnourished. Yeah. Like he's like he's an undead being. He's yeah. Withered somewhat. Gaunt cheeks. They they're like all skull. Yes. Your cheekbones should not be that defined in your face. Like, those are sallow cheeks. Yeah. That's not good. You look pathetic. Kinda. You look underfed. You should do something to, to rectify that. What is this connected? We have three of these. Okay, that one goes to the bed and some stairs. Where do the other two go? Do the other two go to each other? That's a pretty common, common little thing that they do with these sometimes. I bet one of them goes to the exit. All right. 
That one goes to that random room, which has an item in it. Presumably. Somewhere. Or, no, sorry. It shows you, it, like, if you open up the radar, it shows you that say, there's an item on the other side of the wall or something like I'm that. I'm going to say, that makes the most sense. Ah, uh, this is not annoying at all. Uh, Everybody loves a one button in. No, fuck, I tried... God damn it. I don't know what the number is. Put a name. Also, it doesn't show the number here, so the only way you can do that is to guess and then find out if you're right or wrong. Seven. God damn. It's. I think you already picked it up because I think Probably. you've already been to the other side of that wall and a just default mode room. Of tapping around. The other one's gonna push me over to the wall to where this item is. I guess the green exit's gonna be at the top. More than likely. Uh, oh, that's not where I expected that to put me. Team Galactic Credo. Everything belongs to Team... Yeah, we already got that. There we go. Just via an just, extra hallway. Right, it's like, just put a, put a door in, guys. But we've got cool teleportation technology. Yeah, we float into the air. Like, what is this? Is it a tube system like Futurama? Like, how does this even work? Like, what is physically happening to us when this shit goes on? Because, like, some games, like, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, you straight up blip out of existence. Yeah. You, like, static shock, blip, and you're gone, and you appear at the next thing. This is a normal place to fall asleep. The break room of yeah. the evil terrorist organization. Mm -hmm. Team Galactic Nap Room, and sure the bed is unoccupied before bedding, getting into it. I did not technically do that. No hanky-panky. Oh my in goodness. the nap room. All right, no fighting in the war room. For store. Hey, are you enjoying your unescorted, unauthorized, and unsettling tour of Team Galactic headquarters? No. Oh, well, would you like me to get you some water or coffee or tea or something? Or an escort? I think I'm a little young for an escort. Stunky. Oh, why did I give him the Geo voice? Because <laughs> <laughs> he's an adolescent. Yeah, because he's a 10 or 11 year old boy on an adventure far too big for him to realistically be dealing with. Yep. Full of strangely incompetent adults. I mean, they use the same voice actor for like 12 different versions of that character all That's the time. That's true. That is very true. Crow Gunk. All right. Well, I know how to deal with a crow gunk. It's 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 a little crazy the number of times this, that it's like you know the same voice actor doing the dub for twelve different characters who all fit the same trope, right? Like, I guess you design a character with a certain voice in mind based off of other similar designs, and you're just like, yeah, all right, cool, we'll go with that. It's uh, it's Nolan uh, Nolan uh, was it Nolan North again. We did it. Good night, Crow Gunk. Alrighty. It's like so not late and I'm already feeling tired just because like <laughs> Sarah and I went to bed early last night because Sarah had, a five, had to get up at 5.30 to catch a flight. Woo! And the plan was I was going to wake up just enough to for smooches and goodbyes and all of that stuff and then she was going to go and I was going to go back to bed. At yep. 6.30, as her lift arrived, as she was getting her stuff, as she was, like, pulling her stuff to get on stairs, she goes, hey, wait, where's my wallet? The oh, lift was no. already here, so I lunged out of bed just to help look. Oh, panic search mode. Too yep. much adrenaline, no more sleep. Yep, so she, found, she did find her wallet. It was in another pair of pants, and then she left, and I went back to bed, and I just kind of was like, yeah, I think I'm awake now, and it's 6.35 a.m. Yep. So I, I have been up already for like 13 hours and we are, uh, uh, there's a very good chance that tonight is going to continue recording wise for another six to eight hours for all I know. Maybe not six to eight hours of recording specifically, but six to eight hours uh, of continued being awake. I mean, it wouldn't be appropriate to start recording Star Force before tomorrow. Yeah, I don't know the last time we've actually started recording it before midnight. Just not in the flavor of Star oh, Force. Oh yeah, I don't like. You being... don't get the level of silly that is yeah. necessary. I if would... It's not after midnight. 
I wouldn't want to be this level of sleep deprived. I'm yawning into the mic and everything. I wouldn't want to be this level of sleep deprived for it normally. Usually it's just a matter of it's late, so you're just kind of in a weird headspace more yeah. than like actively tired. I'm gonna have to grab another like energy drink or something. I ha- I've I've actually this is me yawning after drinking a Red Bull, so I'm like, oh fuck, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I don't know. I can I can down a full throttle and then go to sleep. Yeah, Red Bulls don't really do it for me. This like honestly, I felt more wired this morning. I got a I got a um, an Americano, which oh, is espresso okay. yeah. espresso yeah, over ice with water. Yeah, which that wakes me the fuck up. Espresso like is a like is like touching a live wire for my brain. That lights me up like a Christmas tree. And that's interesting cuz like a sir- a shot of espresso is less caffeine than a small cup of coffee. Yeah. I don't know what it is about it. So like measure for measure, a americano is slightly less caffeine than if you got an iced coffee. Yep. Iced coffees do the tiniest amount for me. It's, they do a little, but it, not much. It must have to do with how recently it was brewed and like I don't know, does caffeine break down into other constituents pretty early? How volatile is that chemical? I feel like old coffee usually is not great for, like, waking you up. I don't know. There must be some amount of volatility to to caffeine, because that's the the real selling point of espresso is it was made right now. Yes. It's fresh, nice and and quick, and you're in. And a hot cup of coffee at a Dunkin', brand standard, is not more than 18 minutes old. Yep. But iced coffee could be eight hours old. Yeah, I've had I've had iced coffee at the end of the day before and been like, yeah, this is fine. Well, well, why don't we have ourselves some coffee? We'll wake up. We'll come back next time, and, and we'll, we'll uh, play some, Yeah, we'll play some three portal Monty. All right. Let's see, what we got. Bye. <laughs>